Hey guys, SmartNinja000 here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to create death warps. So, if I go on survival, kill myself, if I write backslash trigger warp set one, boom, back where I, my death was, and I even have this cool message. Now, there's no message if it doesn't work. But if you don't teleport, then you would assume you're not in radius. Um, what I mean by that is oh, well that was interesting. I didn't think I'd. We must not have gone far enough. Moving at a pretty good speed, I think. I think this ought to be far enough. Really? Okay, now that's impressive. There we go. Okay. I don't know. Obviously, that entity shouldn't be loaded. I have no idea what that's up with. If you're going to use this on a survive world, then. On a single player world seems to be working fine. If you want to try this on, on a multiplayer world, it won't work as fine. But considering the fact that it worked over that large distance, maybe it just didn't have time for the chunk to unload. I don't know. Anyways, first thing you have to do is you have to create a scoreboard objective. Scoreboards or objectives add warp. It's a trigger type then you want to enable everyone before for certain people so you could do team op so only I mean I'm still on team op see you can tell I did that little tag just so you know um, then you want to execute from everyone with a score of warp death now that is scoreboard objectives add warp death it's death count you want to summon an armor stand there with tag warp death no gravity custom name everything no gravity just in case you're like in water or something then you want to um, teleport the player with was a score of warp that means they did the trigger command of one. Now that way you can use multiple warps. It has to be exactly one. Two, the armor stand. You kill the armor stand once they have a score of one. Then you display that tell raw command. And lastly, you set their score of warp to zero. So that is basically it. Now you can also include other warps. So, like, if we wanted to set up a warp here, we could just just write in the coordinates. Oh, my new keyboard's still not used to it. Uh, I just, I did that wrong. I forgot to click control. Sorry, guys. Set block. You can easily just control copy that. Grab this. Grab this command block. And then you want to teleport them to those coordinates if it's two and you know what this needs to go up one more and this one goes here make that conditional
Okay. That should work. Now if I do backslash trigger warp set two, we went to warp test. Of course you could make it bold and stuff and add a bunch of fancy things. But I think that looks pretty cool. I mean, it works well. It's really nice. I mean it looks I think it looks good. Doesn't take too many command blocks. And I feel like it adds a lot. It's um if you're wondering where I got this idea, obviously it's the Essentials plugin. So, um, yeah, feel free to use it in your survival worlds if you want. It's not too difficult. Oh, another thing to note: you may want to set the arm stands invisible. I didn't do that just for because otherwise, uh, where's the command box? It's over here, I think. Yep, there it is. First off, yeah, I, I added the custom name and stuff just so it looks nice, but you can do. <laughs> now you have your own floating harvest name with a custom name. And can we even name tag it actually? Because it has that. I'm not sure. Name tag, let's call it. Bob. Yep. So people kind of use it if you don't make it invisible. And if you do make it invisible, yeah. Well, if you you might not want to make it invisible, or you might want to make it invisible, but you might want to have the name still showing. That would totally make sense. So that way, if you don't have it, you can still easily find your stuff. Because I mean. You can all do all sorts of things with this because I mean now you can see it through the box, or give it the spectral effect or whatever. You can customize this however you want, but I think it's just funny that you can do that. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, um, share. Goodbye.